Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. This is a tinkering video. So that's for people who like to solder and like to crimp and like to mess around with wiring. Nothing about new upgrade parts, simply mounting. No, no, no. And I do not want to show you a new SCX24 because I know nobody's talking about SCX24s anymore. Actually, because there are so many other micro trucks. I want to talk a little bit about micro electronics, micro receiver and ESC units you can make because so many people try to make their micro crawler as light as possible and then they use large servo plugs, a lot of wires, don't cut the wires and check this out. Check this truck out. It's, it's nearly empty because I used micro receiver and a micro ESC and additionally I do not use a PC and this truck is running on high voltage directly powered by a 2S LiPo. Check it out inside and here sits the battery. The 260 from Turnigy fits perfectly and here that's everything. ESC and receiver and a high voltage servo. In this truck I use the JX PDI HV 1151MG that was originally made I guess as a shifting servo for the TRX4. Many people want high voltage servos but then I think why do you need a BSC normally? If you use a high voltage servos, most of the new receiver units are able to work with 8.4 volts. So what's the BEC for then? No BEC needed, directly powered. And what did I use here? You see all the electronics, tiny electronics sit here. And there is a lot, a lot, a lot of room. I even used a 030 motor my mofo what is the name nano piece 30 but of course you could also use a 050 motor then have to remove this plate here or to cut it a little bit that's normally the place for battery i guess that's uh, that's the um injora chassis i guess yes that's the injora chassis but the 260 Turnigy, I guess Hobby King doesn't sell those anymore. I love those with the UMX system. So JSTPH plug, no balance plug and power plug. And it fits so perfectly into this position that I do not need this place here. There's a lot of room in front for small batteries. So because you don't need the room for electronics, the 180 turnages, I also have them in 3S, but you can't use 3S here, of course, because if you directly power it, only 2S and maybe even the 300 turnages, I guess this battery is still sold by Hobby King. I love it too, but I use it normally for the microplanes and helios, and they would all fit here, maybe with a little bit of Velcro. So empty, empty, empty and super super light you can't tell those trucks or name them as super light i guess if i use metal links and all this stuff but it's so easy and so cool if you want a little bit of tinkering around and messing around with wires and crimping there are two fly sky receivers that's the gmr receiver that's for my fly sky noble but I don't use it here, and that's the FSR4M ANT receiver. This is a receiver for the Flysky FS G7P. I showed you this radio in a video with this ugly radio. I don't really like it with ANT protocol, and the G7P is the Absima CR7P here in Europe. People will ask or can buy it locally. But this tiny receiver here with the ANT protocol costs less than half of the price of the receiver with the HFHDS3 protocol for the Noble. 
you could get those GMR receivers some time ago on promotion sometimes for less than 30 bucks but actually I guess 35 40 bucks and this receiver only 15 bucks and I don't know I don't see any disadvantage so far that support for the gyro you don't need anyway in a crawler and two and a half times the price of this one and you don't have to use the ugly G7P radio from Flysky. I really do not like it. I don't like the knob and it's quite complicated to program that way. I use the small Flysky FS G4P. I've never seen it where it's been sold, but here in Europe it's sold. It's sold as really Gen 4. And this radio is super, super cheap. You can buy it locally, not with the micro receiver, but with a with this four channel receiver. That's a four channel radio, and it's only twenty seven or twenty eight bucks here. So actually, the cheapest radio because Dumbo RC radios and Turbo Racing radios are much more expensive. Actually, they were cheaper two three years ago, and I bought a couple of those because they are so cheap and. If I want to give away some trucks, people always want it ready to run with radio. So 25, 27 on promotion, maybe 23 bucks, including a receiver. But you want the small receiver, the R4M, and that's about 15 bucks, including shipment from AliExpress, Banggood, but Banggood is always sold out. All of those are sold only in those plastic bags that's the ant receiver that's the hf af hts3 for the nova and all come with a lot of plugs and wires and that's what we'll what you will need because of course you will have to mount those plugs which are 1.5 millimeter jst ZH plugs. Those are those guys here. So search for 1.5 millimeter, 2 pin, 3 pin, 4 pin, whatever micro connector on eBay, AliExpress, and you will find those. Unfortunately, they are not the same as used in the new in the FMS FCX24 or also in the Rocky Rock in the Hobby Plus CR18Ps. The T Hunter and the Rockwin, they use the smaller ones. Unfortunately, they use the GH 1.25 millimeter, so which are a little bit smaller. You can buy those plugs, of course, for crimping. You get it that way, but that's not so easy. You will get a lot of those with your receivers but those have very thin wires, 20H cord, I guess. It shouldn't be a problem, but if you want to use thicker wires with higher cord, then you can buy them. You only have to know where to search for because those are quite popular. They are used for satellite receivers forever already. And in all micro -heli flyberless systems those 1.5 millimeter JST set H plugs are used so you have to search in the heli sections if you search for those wires and then cut them and solder the wire into the servo or whatever or to the servo wire to make it as short as possible I guess I made the wire maybe one two centimeters too long but check this out isn't that clean that's everything. I really like this stuff that way. And you don't have to use a PC, as already mentioned. I use in this truck a Model Regla DE AS126RW Easy ESC. This one with a super, super nice low speed modulation, which does not have a PC. But of course, you don't need a PC. If you can directly power your server with 8.4 volts and your receiver with 8.4 volts. So what did I do? I plug the battery directly to the receiver. I made an adapter. I use 
one of the free ports, channel 3 or 4. I don't use it anyway. I could use it for a light switch or whatever. And on the other side, I made my battery connector. I use, I really love this system. Those are JSTPH, two millimeter, same width as the motor plugs or in the SCX24 battery plugs. And because I really love this system, you can get the batteries. I love this system for more than 10 years now, I guess 2011 or whenever this was released by Horizon Hobby with the Blade 130X and the Blade MCPX brushless micro helicopters and for the 2S UMX planes. So this system is super popular. Only one cable, not extra for power and balancing. It's absolutely not necessary. And you get them everywhere where you get those small planes and helis and also in the micro racers. So in the 1 to 28th scene, Atomic, Mini C, if they don't run on AAAs, on AAA batteries, meanwhile, many run on LiPos, many of those also use this absolutely genius system. And I don't know why no company which sells those micro crawlers does use this system. Because if that's okay for super power hungry micro helicopters and micro planes and for race trucks or for racers, then for sure it's also very okay for such a crawler, which will take maybe 30, 40 minutes till the battery is empty. And in a micro heli, three, four minutes in the racers, I don't know. So super, super nice. But of course, you can. Use any plug you want, a red GST, so whatever you want. So I want, come on, let's take care if you pull out those. So not don't, don't pull on the wires. You could destroy the connection, it could break. So I did it that way. I did where red and black is. I connected, I used 24 coach wire here, I guess, the wires and the signal port for the signal wire stays empty. And I simply power the, come on, I power the ESC by the receiver. So what did I do here? I connected the red and the black wire from the receiver port channel 2 to the battery in on the ESC. The ESC, of course. I power the ESC by the receiver and the signal port, the white or gray or whatever, comes to the spot for the signal. And that's it. I also did connect it by a plug, but I could also directly solder it. And that's how it sits there inside. And I think that's super cool. If you want to do this, I have to tell you something that's super, super important. And if I say this is important, I mean it is important, really. With those micro plugs, no matter if those are set age or G age or the tiny S age, the polarity is not always the same. For example, in Valkyra Helis and also in the Heli Flyballess system, Red is not in center. So if you buy those, you can buy those, for example, Quantum. I bought those ones for satellite receivers. Don't know where I bought it from years ago. They are too thick, in my opinion, for my satellite receivers. So you can buy them in long and in short. And check Healy shops. So if you buy those, then check if the polarity is the same as in your receiver. And you will see that's the wire that comes with the Flysco receivers. And that's also in the micro ESCs for racers. There is always red in center position. And in those for the flyballess systems, the red plus is not center. So if you cut this and solder it that way, to your servo and then plug it, it, it to your receiver, you will destroy your receiver and your servo. So simply lift the tabs and do it in 
correct order as shown in the wires or in the plugs that come with a receiver. That's the correct order for the Flysky micro receivers and for all this car stuff. But there are also wires sold with different order and that's super, super dangerous. Red has to be in center. If black and white or black and gray are not in the correct position in most receiver units that's not so important it won't work but nothing will be destroyed i guess only in tracks they don't have this protection and if you plug it with wrong only wrong black and white to a Traxxas unit it will be destroyed but that's Traxxas famous for selling the cheapest electronics for the highest prices and also if you buy adapters it's the same you check this that's a Adapter coming with a flyboless system, red is on the right side, not in center position, and here it's again in center position. So, super, super dangerous. While, for example, this adapter does have the red in center position. That's from, I don't know where I have it from. That's a servo wire from somewhere with 1.5 millimeter red in center red not in center so super 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 important if you don't want to destroy your electronics yeah and that's in those days where people only buy upgrades and nearly every month a new truck has been re is released i also buy those but i would really love to tinker 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 much more that's cool stuff that's really nice check out how much room there is and it works so 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 nice and if you are one of those guys who likes to tinker then do it you will get your lightest SCX24 if you use a system as this no large servo plugs no thick wires of course that's too long now you could shorten this. Okay, don't use magnets if you want super light. However, I really love this stuff and I'm a little bit bored already. So many new trucks and upgrades, upgrades, upgrades are released and buy, 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 buy new things. No, let's do our own stuff and that's a kind of own stuff and that's why that's cool. This ESC is cool. Those micro receivers are cool and soldering is cool and crimping if you can you need special pliers i like to crimp but it's not so easy in those do it do it do it in german we say model bau that means construction you have to do something that's it for this video thanks for watching guys hope to see you in the next video i'll be back